Hello, hello. My name is Jessica, and today I will be showing you how to mint your first NFT on the Lightmint platform. All right, so I am on the Lightmint website currently, and Lightmint is a great platform to um, mint your NFTs. Um, here, actually, they have a little blurb what makes Lightmint different. And it says, by building your marketplace on Stellar, we opened up the world of NFT to everyone. Low flat fees allow anyone to mint NFT collectibles on list them at any price that fits specific business requirements, even sub dollar items can be minted efficiently. All right, so here we are on the homepage of lightmint.com and I am going to first make a new account. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna call it addict um, and if you as you can see actually making a name is pretty easy and it gives you a Zari ID um, if you want to save all these things I would suggest that you use one of these buttons to um, save everything um, I believe if you just connect your wallet you should be good in terms of having everything saved but I think this will just be a good step to do um, just in case so after you chose your name um, and also by the way if you want to customize it you do have to log in using one of these methods otherwise you're given this random user id and this is actually going to be the identifier for all the nfts that you meant on this platform so it actually is worthwhile to log in to customize uh, because it is not this name that you will be associated with okay so next we're going to connect our wallet and it gives us a few options here um the first one is the easiest way to um, connect your wallet to lightmint it uses a software wallet as opposed to a hardware wallet and i'm going to choose this option all right so you do have to have the friday extension installed i already have it installed so i'm going to click i am new and I'm going to put a password and it is going to give me a backup phrase and this is very important for you to keep somewhere safe. I would recommend writing it on a piece of paper um, somewhere that's offline so that you're not able to get hacked. I will not be keeping a lot of money on this wallet, but just in case, I'm going to keep this information private. Um, also, you know, when you are minting, um, you if you lose access to this wallet, then you also lose access to your NFTs. Once that you either try to sell or buy, so this is very important. Make sure they keep this in a very secure place. After you're shown your recovery phrase, you will be asked to um, confirm the backup phrase. So you can do that and click on confirm. Again, I am doing this off screen for privacy reasons. So after that is done, it's going to give you a little message. And after you read it, just click on got it. And that's it. Your wallet is connected. All right, so, okay, so now we get into the fun stuff. We're going to mint our token. So I am actually going to switch to my main account. So I will be right back uh, because I actually don't want to be minting on this test account. <laughs> so I'm now back to my own personal account. And as you can see, I actually don't have enough funds. Um, and so I'm going to be transferring some money from my Coinbase um, into the Fighter wallet. And I have a little bit of money in Coinbase right now um, that I will be sending over. Um, I, I think I just got this actually by watching the videos. Um, I have another wallet where I keep or have kept more XLM in the past. Um, okay, so I'm going to send $5 and what is great with Stellar is that you actually don't have to worry about 
the transaction fees are quite low, so that is actually a really nice perk with um, Stellar. So I'm going to copy the wallet address um, and make sure that you do this step carefully. Do not be distracted during this part. Okay, so I copied the love proprietor wallet address over to Coinbase and I'm going to, I don't think that I need to add the memo. I believe that this is optional. Um, writer, I don't think it says that we need to have any kind of memos, but let's just double check. All right, so it doesn't seem like I actually need to add the memo for to send the funds over. So I'm going to leave this blank and I'm going to pay with Stellar Lumens. Click send. And this, it's asking me, are you sure the XLM memo isn't required? Your XLM may be lost if the XLM memo is required by your recipient and you don't include one. Okay. So we have checked and we actually do not need an XLM memo. So we're going to click yes, I am sure. And if I'm wrong, then I'm gonna lose $5. Well, all right, so I need to confirm. I'm going to check my text messages to get the code. And that's it. I like using Coinbase because it's easy to buy and transfer any coins or tokens that I have. So I definitely highly recommend. I will have a referral link below in case you do not have Coinbase or any way of getting Stellar um, Lumens. So yes, please look at the description below to get the link. Okay, so after I sent the funds over, we need to wait. The transaction time is actually relatively fast with Stellar. And All right, so I just reloaded and they asked me to upload my file, which I believe probably means that I now have the funds in my Fighter wallet. Okay, great. And now I'm going to choose a file to upload. So of course you can choose any file that you would like. It has to be an image file. So I chose this picture to upload. It is a picture of San Francisco. I will call this Bay Bridge or more specifically SF Bay Bridge. I will provide a description, a picture of the San Francisco Bay Bridge. And here you can choose a number of tokens. I will choose one and I will make it unique. You can choose up to 50. I'm going to bypass this option and click next. And now I am ready for launch. NFT token code. I will leave the default and I will click on create token. If you'd like, you can go back just to make sure that everything is as you would like it, that the spelling is correct and things like that, a number of tokens. Then you can click next and here, here we go. First NFT.
And here is a confirmation. It says your token has landed successfully. Sign a transaction to receive it. And there will be a Friday pop-up. It will ask you to log in. and make sure that everything is as expected. It says that the base fee is 0.05 XLM for me. And also the amount paid is very negligible. And I'm going to click on confirm transaction. And you can click on view NFT. It's loading. And here you will see the author. And so this is the ID that I was mentioning in the beginning. I chose 35 millimeter. I realized I probably could have made it my actual my actual username, but it's okay. I actually like the domain. So it is taking a while for the picture to show up, but it is there. And for it to actually show up in the store, it will take a few hours. I think, I believe that it takes up to 24 hours to um, make sure that everything is all right to, um, in order to see the NFT on the Lightman platform. I, for the one, when I actually made my first NFT, it actually took much longer than 24 hours. And I sent an email and they, promptly responded and helped me to get my NFT up and running pretty quickly. So the customer service with Lightman is actually really great. Okay, I'm going to reload the page just to see if that will make a difference. And it did. All right, so here you can you can enter the amount that you would like to sell your NFT at. I will put for 150 for the purposes of this video and click on make offer. And so this is how you actually sell the NFT for a price. And you click on confirm transaction. After logging in. And that is it. And now your NFT is up for sale. Though, like I said before, it will take some time to show up in the store. Um, so give it some time and you should receive an email letting you know that your NFT is good and up in the, in the store. And that is it. And that is your first NFT and you're able to share the link. There are some social links here. You can also just copy and paste the, the actual link up here to share it. Um, you can share your Lightman store link as well, and that works as well. People can view your store in that way. And also, if you would like to check out my work, please check out my Instagram. It is instagram.com slash 35 millimeter attic, the two underscores. The link will also be below. I am a film photographer and also a software engineer. And I also recently started making these videos on YouTube. So please subscribe and like and stay tuned for more if you enjoy content like this and share with your friends who are also interested in making NFTs. That would help out a lot. Please let me know what kind of content you would like to see from me in the future. I am still exploring, so I am down to make variety of content, whether it's film or NFT related. I feel like there is so many possibilities and I'm really excited. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye.